one big one to think. How do we do? In itself, Gamma Club is completely controlled by ASF students, which is a school, and we have over 50 volunteers that teach different children. The volunteers usually um, come to us for community and service hours. However, they are strictly, um, they have a strict way to teach, they have to teach in a certain way in order to keep, in the, keep as they come into the club and to keep getting the credits they need. We provide all the materials that the kids need so they don't have to buy anything like art supplies or like the supplies they need for sports or notebooks or books or everything. Like we have about one ASF student for every four children. Like children. So we can give like specialized attention to each one of them and they can learn better. So this is basically what the schedule is. It's like a small um, short day of school, but they have more, well, a little bit of a break and they mostly have fun. So it's a one hour period at the beginning, then a slight break, and then a second period of another class. But that's, since the children most have come, don't always come to the class, and the teachers aren't always the same teachers, we have many volunteers, we try to shift them, or um, kind of vary the, what they do. We develop lesson plans, the, the teachers develop lesson plans to keep the progress of the children and to keep them advancing and not stuck on anything. Because for example, in the past years when this club wasn't as organized, the children came to the officers and told us, we've run mean numbers like eight times, it's the same thing they teach. So in order to keep this from happening and to keep the children going, we do lesson plans. And this is an ideal format of the lesson plan, which we provide to every student of ASF teacher. And that's what they used in the past. This is like the main class we teach because everyone is interested in learning English because it's such like a main and necessary subject for like musical. So we have two classes, two levels, English one and English two. English 1 is from 6 to 8, and English 2 is from 9 to 12. So they are like level, and we teach different things. To 6 to 8 years old, we start from the basics. The alphabet, the numbers, and many like vocabulary for them to learn, and very simple sentences. And if they advance properly, we start to implement with the English tutor, which is more advanced things, and they use specialized workbooks um, which the teachers, the English teachers, have decided for them to use. Uh, they review the basics and they develop more grammar and develop more complex sentences. This is a sample lesson plan for English class. And it states the goal, the lesson, the materials the children need are provided by us, and what we have to what they have to do, and if there is any homework they already do. As you see, it is very specific. Like it even has like the time that each thing has to be taught and by whom. This is a, an excerpt from the workbook the children use. It's just basic exercises for them to complete, and it's what they um, take for homework or stuff like that. The French class. French is a very small class. It's not many kids are interested in. However, many, there are always like five through six, three to eight people always request this course. So that's why we give The teachers are very um, selected teachers by the officers who know how to speak French and actually know how to communicate in it. And they view very like the basics of the language as well as the three, well, two most important verbs, which are to be and that. English and French are the only two languages that we give in this class. Art class? Like, for me, it's the best class that we give because it's the one where they are more creative and they learn the most because they, every day they get a different assignment and they do different things every day. Like, not like in English, but they have like a several weeks in learning the same subject. Here, they do different things every day. 
they, instead of just letting them draw and letting them do whatever they want, we tried to actually teach them about artists and to use different materials, like watercolors, acrylic, markers, and color pencils, and they came in different surfaces. Students, to keep them interested and not just learning the drawing techniques or stuff like that, we give them special projects for special dates. For example, they have a special project specified for um, Valentine's Day, one for Christmas, one for Halloween, and things like that. This is a project they did for El Dia de los Muertos, which is a tradition in Mexico in which Mexicans honor the dead people. And they give them food and take food to the graves and flowers. And they did a calaverita, which is a basic um, Mexican tradition. And it's a basic Mexican tradition. Music class. This is also like a very low population class because it's not that requested and it's like very challenging because they actually learn to play that instrument that is like a little marimba and they learn songs and how to read music. This is a teacher. Do you, I don't know if you saw it in our video, but there's a segment of the kids playing with the little star. Like in music class, we start from the basics, which is like the value of the rhythms, the notes, and how to read. And then we start like teaching them how to sing in the piano. And then they start playing easy songs like very a little bit. Computer class. This is probably one of the um, another of the best classes we offer. It's what I've been in charge of for the past two uh, two years. And in computers, these kids don't, you have access to computers. They don't have access to most of it. So we try to offer them the basics as well. And we teach them to use the basic programs, which are PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and Google. And we teach them to type without seeing the keyboard. These are things they would use probably if they would, could write you know, like in their daily lives or the computers they have access to. Instead of just teaching them to use each program on its own. They have like more interesting projects which involve different of the programs used. For example, let's say a little research paper in which they have to research a topic, an animal for example, and then they have to write about it in Word and afterwards pass it to a PowerPoint to present it to the class. Okay, sports like you would think that it's a stupid class because like, you don't really right. learn something academically, but we really get them to know like the rules of each game and how to play it correctly. In Mexico, the main sport is soccer, and most of the kids know where we have to play soccer, so we try to change and to teach them different. So we teach five different units, which are soccer, American football, dodgeball, kickball, and basketball. We make sure they learn the rules of the sport instead of just playing it at random. And this is Jessica. And this is a Gamma family. Gamma doesn't only change the children's lives, it changes the student the and teacher's lives. Since most of us have never actually interacted with children with low resources. And after meeting them and once you get to know them, we become more close and we actually realize what's around us. For example, um, when I decided that this was something I really cared about, I met, it was when I met um, a family of three. Uh, they were, it was one boy of eight and two girls of six. And I was teaching them computers and this kid was just very, um, very frustrated because he couldn't use a program. And I, I reached out to him like to touch his shoulder and he flinched, but it was a very hard flinch and then he started crying. So we went outside and we talked and he told me that his parents hit him and that his father had left him and they had basically nothing, like they had no, no any privileges or anything. Basically, their mother worked all day and she um, abused them, like what they had. So this really affected me because in reality, at that time, I had never seen something like that and it's what kept me going in the present. Like, it really affects on the people, not only the kids, but also their families because all of their parents work 
all day. And it like really relieves them to know that they're like in a protected space learning after they go to school. And the parents can improve in their work and like actually like progress in their work because they can have more time for themselves and more time to progress in what they do because they don't have to worry. Uh, any questions? What happens if you have a kid that has so beautiful but doesn't know any English? Do you put it in the um, If he doesn't know any English at all, we like first the teachers um, talk to him and see what he knows. And it's um, if it's a really a children who doesn't know anything, he plays with the small children. However, there are several twelve, well nine to twelve, which are also in the class. Like normally, a kid wouldn't choose that class if he doesn't know anything. He would choose another class. Okay, what are you? Um, how did you get like the children to come? Did you just like go it's to the? It's been a project that frankly has been going on since I've been in fifth grade. However, it only holds with like 10 to 20 children. And uh, until two years ago, when the president, which is not president, took power of the club, she went around the community and she like asked people and she went around the schools, and, um, janitors and around the school's workers, and she asked them like what they thought of the program. And that's how we started getting children. And besides, most of the parents know each other since it's a very small community. So they t tell the others and the others, and that's how we started gathering to Like, we were sort of a web. Do you have enrollment times throughout the year that they can be added? Yes. Or how does that work? Yeah, we. it's like the normal school year, which starts in August. And at the, like, some weeks before August and July, we, like, put posters up and put the application for posters and when the school year ends for them, which is in, at the end of May, we give us the, the acceptance, the enrollment form to the parents so that they can for come. Next. So apart from your once a week teaching, is it like a normal school like what goes on every other day or is it like no. it just like the It's just yours. It goes only once a week on Tuesdays and it's after school for us. Like they have their normal school in the morning mm -hmm. and this is like an after school activity. Oh, okay, so it's a normal school and then you just have them. Yes, yes. Any other questions? Uh, how, how can you take this like maybe internationally? Well, and since most of the people, uh, most of you go to international schools, most of you go have the same facilities and there are many communities around the world probably there's a poverty in it. and what we could do internationally for example it's the janitors and the workers at the school always have children and it's an easy thing to start you just have to talk to the administration of your school and you can start like by very small numbers of children and then start becoming bigger throughout the community of the school since ASF is an IB school, can students earn CAS hours for being in Gamma Yes, class? they actually yes. earn CAS hours. They okay. even pass uh, TASO when they graduate. Uh. They Gamma Club pass. Any other questions? So now we're going to do our Since the best way to demonstrate what we do is teaching, that we're going to. Yeah, since you all know English perfectly. <laughs> we're yeah. going to teach you a little bit about music. Not obviously not with instruments, but about rhythm. <coughs> so it's going to be a sample cast, but it's going to be more fun. Two half notes and they're both two beats. 
each half node has one fourth and it's one b each no? They all have to add eight and these are casualties, so they're like two of every uh, eight notes are one quarter now, and four of every sixteen notes are one quarter. See, everybody gets it.
to uh, like our one of it. And the silent test, if you can go describe You can say shh or nothing or... But it has to wait one. white ones? White ones. White ones are the... You count. One, if two, two, three. Beats. One, two. Can we practice with a group one? Okay. okay. Yeah. You have five minutes to practice. Okay, okay. 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 So which line do we have? Yeah. Which line? Oh, we should have one. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. For a ball team? The, the big team has the bottom line and the small team has the bottom line. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't bump that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we are the who else? Who are the ones how to count music? I don't know. 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 There's Patty's key. So if you think of each measure in four beats, we got we have four beats for the little ones on the right. We're we're on the top. Doesn't matter. Come on. So first part goes one two. Three and four. Okay, so let's do the first one. Two, three, and four. If you say it, it'll be easier. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, and four. Okay? And the next one. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, you're not going to do it again. Last one, so stay. Okay, ready? We do the beginning. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three is what it'll sound like. Oh, one, one, two, three, and four. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, let's do it again. One, two, three. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. 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 Yeah. Okay, ready? You want to teach the third one? Yeah, the third one is really, really simple. You go one, six, seven, eight. Okay. No, but she's hurt. No, but I've never heard of in a band. Yeah. That's why I know it's time out. Alright. Alright, okay. Who wants to teach the final one? Who wants to do the final one? Go ahead. You're on. Okay, one. Okay, last measure. Okay. Except for the last one. Sounds when you count it together. Counting. Counting. Okay, you what anyone who's unsure, listen up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, rest, one, rest, one, two, and three, four. Okay, how can I be like this? One, rest, one, rest, no. one, two, and three. No, it's one, two, three, four. Let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Are we ready? Okay, I'm gonna. That's all we have to do. Alright, let me. Only Yeah. Okay. Why is there tapping with you, team? Bring it on! Bring the games on! You were ready to tap with me. You were ready to tap with me. Brazil, and you were like reminding me of her so much. She's very animated. Okay, you started last night. Exciting. Are you guys ready to clap? With enthusiasm? Okay, so okay. we're going first. We're going first. Yes, you're going first. Are you ready? Wait, we, we need to stand for this. Yes, yeah, no, no. I'm ready to start. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Of course. Five, six, seven, eight.